Hello everyone, welcome back to the Frank Circuit Building Series. Nah, just joking. Uh, just having fun. Um, this is the next kit that I've built. Uh, I actually like this one a lot. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's pretty interactive. So I guess I'll just get started. On a high level, um, what we're doing is that we're taking inputs using these photoresistor cells, uh, I'm sorry, these photoresistors to read uh, the light that's hitting it. And based on that input, we will then uh, adjust this LED um, to reflect essentially the amount of light in a room. And I'll demonstrate that towards the end. Um, just to walk you through the circuit, I'll first start by mentioning that, um, you know, the Arduino circuit can output um, essentially a set voltage, right? It can output, say, five volts. And so it has a feature, which are these digital pins here for pulse width modulation, so PWM. And what that does is that that essentially fades in and out the LED to kind of like to kind of uh, it it triggers it flips off and on the LED, but then it does it so quick that it gives the impression that you know this is like a smooth fade or a smooth change as different um, levels of light hit these photoresistors. So. Just to, I guess, talk through some of the circuits, we have, again, the photoresistors. You can see how they're connected. You have your positive bus. Um, each photoresistor is in series with a 10 kilo ohm resistor going to ground. And then we're picking up and bringing that input into the analog portion of our Arduino board, okay? And then, you know, it does the magic through our program that I'll sh quickly show you here. So you can see the serial is reading live um, the inputs. There's not much activity, so. Um, but here's some of the code just to kind of give you a sense of what was written. Um, you know, pretty straightforward. And so going back to the circuit, um, you know, we talked about the input, and so just to talk about the output, we talked about the PWM uh, pins, which essentially help control this LED output. Now the LEDs have uh, 220 ohm resistors connected to um, to the anode. And then, you know, you can see the cathode is connected to ground. And then you have your power bus again. So pretty straightforward. Um, and then what I'll do now is I'll just do a quick demonstration to show you how it works. So keep an eye on the LED. You can see that it's pretty bright. So let's see how it changes when the light in the room changes. Nice. So you can see that it faded pretty quickly. So if I turn one of the lights on, you see that it got a little bit brighter and if I turn all the lights back on it got just a tad bit brighter so it's not perfectly linear but at least demonstrates the idea and you know there's several applications for such a thing so pretty fun and I just thought I would share